Hello, welcome to our semiconductor education program. I'm Vincent Chan. In this video, we are going to start a new video series around differential amplifier. I have prepared about 20 videos just focusing on this subject, differential amplifier. You, if you have a little bit sense about the analog integrated circuit, you probably know the differential amplifiers is very, very important, extremely important. Why? Because for almost any general purpose operation amplifier, the first stage of the operation amplifier is the differential amplifier. BJT differential pair, part one, large signal analysis. Here is the differential pair or differential amplifier. The two bipolar junction transistors matched, matched the bipolar junction transistor and two collector resistance. And it's emitter direct couple, emitter direct couple and biased by a constant current source, IQ. Let's assume the two transistors are in forward active region, biased in the forward active region. IV characteristics. When transistor is biased in the active region, the relationship between IC and the VB is exponential. So IC equals IS, saturation current, exponential VBE divided by VT. Let's focus on the left-hand side. The IE1, the emitter current, can be written as the saturation current divided by alpha, common base current gain, and the exponential, the VB is replaced by VB1 minus the common emitter voltage V. So same thing with, so by the same token, the IE2 can be expressed uh, in the same way. So the VB2, VB2 is replaced by VB2 minus the common emitter voltage. So now let's define a voltage called the input differential voltage, large signal, capital uh, V, capital D. It's defined as the difference between VB1 and uh, VB2. So let's put the VB1 divided by, uh, sorry, the IE1 divided by the IE2. So the IS alpha got canceled out. So exponential V power, the common emitter voltage, got canceled out. So then the differential got exposed, all right? So exponential VD divided by VT. So now we need to solve, if, if you want to solve the two variables, then you need two equations, right? So two unknown variable. So this is the first one from the transistor IV's characteristic. The second one is from network, from circuit characteristics. No matter how the current changes, the sum of the two current has to be the same, has to be the same, has to be a constant, the IQ, supplied by a constant current source. So two equations, if we solve these two equations simultaneously, we are gonna get this result. So IE2 and IE1. So the orange highlight can be replaced by exponential what? VD divided by VT, right? So this is the expression for IE2 in terms of the differential input. So similarly, we can get the IE1. So IE1 can be replaced by, because the two, the highlight, Exponential is a two over one, okay? So exponential minus negative VD divided by VT. So now the two current have been solved. The IE1, IE2 has been solved. Let's focus on the IE1 first, okay? So the vertical represent the current. The horizontal is the large signal differential, but normalized by the thermal voltage VT. Okay, so when you go this way, when VD increase, the blue item 
the denominator got exponential decay. So denominator got exponential decay means the IE1 got exponential growth. So exponential growth. So and then then because it's the exponential, so it's very quickly the exponential term can be negligible. Then it reaches the saturation current, the IQ. So in the opposite direction, then if you go negative, then the item, the, the item, the denominator is gonna be the second item in the denominator is gonna be exponential growth. So the IE1 is gonna become exponential decay. So very soon the ex exponential term can be neglected. Then it reaches, sorry, the exponential term is gonna dominate in the opposite direction. So one can be neglected. So therefore, the for this reason, the IE1 approaches zero. All right. So this is the current on the left hand side. Because because of the circuit symmetry, so you can simply uh, reason out the the other side, the current on the other side is kind of symmetric, right? Kind of symmetric. Go this way. Because the sum is gonna be constant. So when IE1 exponential growth, the IE2 should be exponential decay. So IE1 exponential decay, the IE2 should be exponential growth. So it's gonna go like the like this way, okay? It looks like a big X, a big X. So now here's the takeaway, transfer characteristic. The blue represent the current and the green, Current I1, the green is the I2, left hand side and the right hand side. So re with respect to the input, large signal input differential voltage. All right. So there's only one takeaway. Uh, I want you to get familiar with this kind of transfer transfer characteristics of the differential pair. So we are gonna go deeper starting from this in the next video so you're gonna learn more the three mode of operation of the differential pair so this is the end of the video thanks for watching